Hey everybody, welcome to JDM World. Today we're going to build a new machine that's based off of Gigabyte and NZXT equipment. The goal is to have a white themed crazy RGB machine that's very overclockable. So saddle up buckos, you're in for a wild ride. Okay, we're gonna get into the build now, and I have my most excellent helper here, Pax. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Now, have you ever built a computer before? No. Never. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about this? Yes. So, what are we gonna do first? Uh, we're gonna put. We're gonna open the boxes. We're gonna open the boxes. Okay. What is this thing? Do you have any idea? Um, it is a. So let's read it. A Z390 ARS Master Gaming Motherboard oh. from Gigabyte. Okay. It's, it's the motherboard. All right. You want to open it up? Yes. Okay, go for it. Where did you start? No! Oh, I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yeah, like this. That's how you do it. All right. Okay, look at that. See how that's in there? Okay, now, yeah. So let's put this in okay. and see. Yeah, so flip it down and see this part's going to go up underneath that. It'll, but it'll move when you move that. So slide it down, and you got to push hard, and then, yep. Okay, let go of your fingers. Bam! Look at that. You know what you just did? Um, I put it in. All right, take a look. So I'll get in here with this. Yep. All right. Now we're gonna take this heat sink off. All right, really just a cover, I guess. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've got the heat sink removed and it's got a little sticker on the bottom here. So, you know, I think we will stick this on to, uh, to our NVMe when we get that ready. Um, straight enough? Yeah. Yeah? Just All right, so NVMe is installed. Now, let's, uh, let's just take a look and see how this is gonna go back. So this guy will go in here. I think you have to take off the sticker. Uh, I will. I will. And then he'll sit down here and then we'll put this screw in. And he's going to squish down on top of that. All right. Here we go. Installed. Now we're going to install the system board into the case. Uh, you might be able to see this. I'm not sure. But this standoff actually does not take a screw. So this will, this will poke off, poke up through the top so that you know that you've got your system board in the right spot. So let's see if we can get this thing in there without causing too many problems. Okay, I've got this scooched up a little bit to the camera so you can see inside better. Um, the system board will fit right in um, with the, uh, the pre-installed fan, so no problem there. Um, and as long as you get this, uh, this raised standoff, uh, in just the right spot with the system board, get that slid in, it'll drop in, and then there won't be any gap between the system board and the rest of the uh, standoffs that you'll, that you'll put screws into. So it's a, it's a tight fit, but it's, uh, it's just about perfect. Okay, now I'm going to open the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro Memory. And these are all the memory of it. Memories of it. Now we're going to install the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro memory. We're putting them into uh, uh, slots A1 and B1. And I'll be assisted by Paxton, my Pro memory installer. So Paxton, help me push down on this. All right, perfect. And the second one into B1. All right, looks good. Next up, we're gonna replace the stock 120 millimeter fan with a 120 millimeter RGB um, from NZXT, which is the AER RGB2. Now 
So this is what it looks like once we have the AER RGB2 fan installed, the 120 millimeter here in the back. One thing to note though is uh, the smart hub that comes installed in this case, the H500i, um, will not support both the integrated LED strips that come in the case and additional um, fans. Uh, so uh, you will want to look and, and buy the correct components from NZXT to, uh, to get those fans to light up. Next, we're gonna look at some power supply cable extensions that I bought off of uh, eBay. Uh, this, uh, this will give you quite a, a, a nice look uh, for, your, for your build. A lot of people will use cable mod cables. Um, I picked up just some uh, Chinese knockoff type cables off of, uh, off of Amazon to use. Um, and for the most part, I think we're gonna use the 24 pin and then uh, a couple of these eight pins for the video card and then another eight pin, um, I think will be enough for, uh, for the CPU power. But I'm gonna go ahead and pre-cable these in before we install the, uh, the power supply in this unit just so I can make sure everything can fit Next up, we're gonna install the Kraken X62 all-in-one CPU cooler. This includes two fans, the radiator, and the RGB CPU cooler. Up next, what are we going to install? We're going to do the E850 digital power supply. All right, let's get some power going. Okay, we've got the power supply in, we've got the cooler, memory, system board, uh, we've upgraded the fan. Now, it's time for the video card.
Okay, the assembly is complete. Let's power this up and see what happens. Alright, it looks like we got it on the first try here. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.